Today, I will be showing you what to do and how to set up your tamper when you first get it. So this tutorial is for the Rev 2F model. And when your tamper comes, it's not gonna come charged. So the first thing you wanna do is charge it. Depending on the type of wireless phone charger you have, you can charge it two different ways. So for this type of charger, you're gonna place it down and this is the battery, so you want it to be facing down to the charger. So your tamper will be downright. However, if you have more of a charger like this, you're gonna wanna put your tamper upright and then your charger on top of the tamper, right, like that. And you wanna make sure that it's not on the side like this or like this, or it won't charge properly. Another thing is that you want your tamper to be off. So when this screen is black, that's off. To turn it on, you're gonna press this button at the bottom, and then you'll see our Bossy Tamper logo. And to get out of there to the next default screen, you can press either one of these buttons. So this is what your default screen should look like. So after you charge your tamper, you can start setting it up. So first, to adjust the shutdown timer, you're gonna long press the right button. This is what your screen should look like, and you can either change it to 30 seconds, 300 seconds, or 5 minutes, or unlimited. And that's just the amount of times the tamper will wait for you until it automatically shuts off. So we recommend 30 seconds since it's more battery efficient. And then to get out of the screen, you just long press the right button again. For the second part, we're going to long press the left button. This is what your screen should look like, and this is the dwelling time. That's just the amount of seconds that the head of the tamper will be extended when you do one cycle. So we have zero seconds to 1.5 seconds in increments of 0 0.25 seconds. And then long press to go to the next screen. Then we have tamper speed, we have fast, medium, and low. We recommend fast since it's most efficient. And then long press left button again. Next is tamping number. That's the amount of times the tamper will tamp in one cycle. So we have one, two, and three. And then again, we'll just recommend one. Long press to get back to the default screen. You'll also see on the default screen, it has this number, which can change. If you wanna go lower, you press this button. And then if you wanna go higher, you press this button. So these numbers are the actual amount of millimeters that this will go down into the basket. And it goes from one to 20. 15 is the normal that we use, but you have to experiment what works for your basket depending on the size and also the dose that you use. So once you notice that it starts to get dirty and you want to clean this part and the head, you're just going to hold both the left and the right button down until you see this screen. So you heard that noise, that's the tamper actually extending right there. And then to go back, hold down both buttons again. That's it returning. Another way that you can clean it is actually to twist the head off. This can give you a more deep clean. And then make sure when you're screwing it back on not to cross thread. And that's it. And now you're ready to tamp. 